Top 20 Event Coordinator Interview Questions and Answers An event coordinator is an important professional in the hospitality industry who works tirelessly to ensure successful events. They are good multidiscers who perform various activities, including budget preparation, booking locations, and organizing press outreach. This article will look at some of the questions to expect if you are enlisted for an event coordinator interview. Interviewers will grill you on your experiences, personality traits, behaviors, and skills. Therefore, it would be best if you answered all the questions correctly and confidently to convince them that you are the perfect candidate. Let us take a look at the following questions. 1. Why are you interested in this position? This opening question is usually one of the most popular first questions in interviews. It seeks to determine whether you will be a good addition to the company from the word go while acting as a foundation for questions to follow. Make sure that you sell yourself and inform the interviewer what the company will gain from your expertise. Sample answer. I am a highly experienced event coordinator with an array of skills. I have coordinated events that your company specializes in and recorded excellent results. I know how to meet clients' expectations and work within the allocated budget principles that this company greatly relies on. I have all it takes to be a good addition to your firm if given a chance. 2. What are the roles of an event coordinator? This is a straightforward question. You definitely know some of your mandated tasks as an event coordinator. You can either use the provided job description when answering this or mention some of your roles in your former company. Sample answer. An event coordinator plans all the details and aspects of an event, establishes and maintains good long-lasting relationships with vendors and venues, and ensures that the event does not exceed the allocated budget. They also come up with reliable financial reports and facilitate timely payment collection. 3. What are the qualities that an event coordinator need to be successful? Every profession in the hospitality industry requires specific sets of skills. What makes you become a good event coordinator? While answering this, make sure that you mention only job-specific qualities. Sample answers. An event coordinator needs excellent organization and preparation skills to execute an event successfully. They must also be excellent communicators to interact with clients, vendors, and site managers and ensure that events are well done. They should be great multidiscers owing to the demanding nature of this job. Other qualities are a passion for the job, calmness, resourcefulness, flexibility, excellent communication skills, and social intelligence. 4. Mention the main challenge that you witnessed in your last job and how you dealt with it. This is another common question that seeks to ascertain if you are a problem solver. Employees are expected to come up with solutions and not spend most of their time whining. When answering this question, make sure that you detail how you dealt with the challenge. Sample answer, the main challenge that I faced during my last role was dealing with nervous clients who doubted my ability. Given that I had dealt with similar clients before, I knew the right way to handle them. I maintained open and transparent communication, keeping them informed of our progress and some of the challenges we were likely to face. I also reassured them that everything was under control and their expectations would be met. 5. Describe your day. What do you do daily in your professional work? Pick a busy day and describe it to your interviewer. If you do not have defined daily activities, give an overview of some of the common activities in your job. Sample answer. I spend most of my days in the office, communicating with vendors and clients over the phone or via email. I discuss and negotiate contracts with suppliers and site managers, conduct extensive research on venues and new event coordination ideas. I may also visit the preferred venue and meet with the site managers. 6. Briefly describe your experience The interviewer wants an overview of your career. Make sure that you capture experiences that make you valuable. Sample answer. This is my eighth year as an event coordinator. I have managed to organize and oversee over 1,000 events, most of which have been successful. I have also sat in national event coordination boards and helped 50% of the companies I have worked in get awards for best event coordination. 7. Mention a strategy and mindset needed for this role. Every event coordinator should have a working strategy and mindset that helps them in executing their roles. While answering this question, mention a mindset and approach that is job specific. Sample answer. I have discovered that the best strategy in event coordination is always being prepared. This is best done by constantly communicating with vendors and site managers if one gets short notice. 
Multitasking is also a needed strategy in this job. As for the right mindset, one needs to be goal-oriented to deliver results and meet client expectations. 8. Mention the main challenge that you foresee in this job. Always take some time and find out as much information as possible about a company before the interview. However, while mentioning a challenge, be sure not to appear incompetent. Sample answer. I have gone through your company's policies and missions which is impressive. You have tackled most of the challenges I have faced in this field, such as payment collection. Any other challenge that rears its head would therefore be easy to handle through my experience and skills. 9. How do you stay motivated in this job? Event coordination can be stressful and hectic, especially if you were not given ample notice. You must therefore have a source of motivation to be good at your job. Do not mention any material reasons. Sample answer. I believe that I am self-motivated. My desire to succeed and meet clients' expectations gives me the needed push. I have goals that must be completed at the end of each event. I, therefore, dedicate most of my time to making the clients happy. 10. Mention a time that you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. This question looks like a trap when it is not. The interviewer would like to ascertain whether you can learn from your failures and how they have shaped your career. Be honest. Sample answer. I once lost communication with my vendors and suppliers. When I was given a five-day notice, I did not know where to start. The event exceeded the set budget as I had to contract new vendors and suppliers, which did not impress my client. This taught me the importance of keeping my normal vendor and suppliers close. 11. What are some of the events that you love working on? Interviewers will mostly ask this as an opening question to get you talking. As you answer, keep in mind that the interviewer is trying to learn more about you and collect information relevant to the interview. Ensure that you give an answer that will guide the interview in your preferred direction. Sample answer. I have vast experience in organizing a range of events. However, I find internal companies' events highly rewarding. I love to witness employees interacting and getting rewarded for the good work they have been doing for the company. Every time an employee in a particular company tells me that I've put up a good event, I find it highly fulfilling. 12. How do you ensure that you are prepared and organized for your next event? This question seeks to assess your preparation and organization skills, which are highly important for event coordination. Convince the interviewer that you can execute an event in a timely and organized manner without breaking a bank. Sample answer. In my career, I have learned that always being prepared for the next event is important. I, therefore, make sure that my schedule is properly managed, my portfolio of ideas and resources updated, and I am in constant communication with suppliers and vendors. I also take time to go through several event ideas, venues, and resources, which expand my creativity, allowing me to deliver unique events. Through these, I have managed to arrange events in less than five days. 13. In your opinion, what is the best way of dealing with nervous clients? As an event coordinator, expect to deal with clients who are perpetually nervous that their events may not go smoothly. While answering this question, inform the interviewer that you can manage the client's expectations and deliver excellent results. Sample answer. In my line of work, nervous clients are common. I have therefore made it part of my job to deal with them. I have had experiences of clients doubting whether my event execution ability will match their expectations. I believe that the best way to tackle such scenarios is to maintain frequent and transparent communication. I inform the clients the moment I run into a problem and come up with a list of possible solutions. I also bring them up to speed on our progress and reassure them that the event will be successful. 14. What do you do when a given aspect of your event does not go according to plan? This question seeks to assess whether you are competent enough and can effectively manage minor challenges in your work as an event coordinator. Your job, therefore, is to convince the panel that you are up to task and value transparency in your event coordination. Sample answer. I have been in situations where events fail to progress as per the established schedule. I have learned that the best way to respond to such is first to identify the root cause of the problem. I then meet with different stakeholders who may help me fix the issue and get the event back on track. I value transparency in my work and do not, therefore, Hide any issues to avoid complications and mistrust. 15. How do you deal with budget issues? As an event coordinator, you are expected to plan an event that will fit the provided budget. 
This question seeks to determine your budget management skills, which are important in this line of work. Therefore, convince the interviewer that you know what to do when you notice an event exceeding the client's budget. Sample answer. Clients normally get upset when an event exceeds the planned budget. Therefore, my job as an event coordinator is to ensure that such scenarios do not happen. My first step is to set proper expectations, ensuring that whatever the client expects is aligned to the budget and what they are willing to spend. I then track all expenses and meet with the client to establish, if they can compromise or add more funds, if I notice an aspect that may make us exceed the budget. 16. How do you choose an event venue? Your work as an event coordinator is to find the best venue for your event. This is an operational question that seeks to find out how you go about your work. When answering this question, give a general overview of your process of venue selection. Before selecting a venue, I always check with the client whether they have any preferences or biases towards certain venues. If they are okay with any, I use my experience with similar events to find a good platform for their event. I also seek information from managers of different potential venues to know what we are supposed to work with. I also take note of all other factors that dictate the success of an event before choosing the right venue. 17. What is your definition of a successful event? The interviewer wants to know what you believe contributes to a successful event and how you define success in your line of work. While answering this question, please try to think of some of the things you would do to make an event successful. Sample answer. I believe that a successful event can be seen from the first client meeting. This stage gives you an idea of what the client expects the event to be and their expectations. One also learns some of the issues that may deter success. A successful event goes according to the detailed plan. Every event coordinator should pay attention to the small details and address the different arising issues for an event to be successful. The best way to know if an event was a success is by listening to the client's feedback and getting referrals. 18. What is the best way to prepare for a kickoff meeting with the event stakeholders? This operational question seeks to understand how you go about a particular aspect of your work. The best way to go about such questions is to be brief and concise in your answer. Also, make sure that your solution is based on your experience. Sample answer. When preparing for an event stakeholder meeting, the first thing to do is research the organization to discover as much information as possible. An event coordinator should also look for the previous events that the company has had in their details. They should then obtain information from vendors and suppliers, which will come in handy during discussions with clients. Lastly, the coordinator should ensure that all the stakeholders have attended the meeting to prevent future surprises. 19. Please describe the most successful event you have ever coordinated. This question seeks to gauge how you view success in your work as an event coordinator. It may be asked as a follow-up or independent question. Make sure that you talk about an event that was highly fulfilling and exceeded your expectations. Sample answer. I have successfully coordinated several events in my career. However, the most successful was an event that I organized for one of the biggest orphanages in my city. The clients set out their expectations, provided a generous budget, and had great belief in me and my event coordination abilities. My vendors and the site managers put up an excellent performance. I exceeded my expectations, the client was happy, and I got hundreds of referrals which saw my company work year in year out. 20. What is the largest function that you have organized? This interview question seeks to reveal your experience. While answering this question, make sure that the interviewer is convinced of your event coordination skills and ability. The function you mentioned must have been successful. Sample answer. The largest event that I coordinated was a car meetup of all Audi owners in the country. It had over 10,000 people in attendance, and the parking lot was overflowing with cars. I was given early notice, and the clients were clear on their expectations. We had to work night and day with the vendors and site managers to make it successful. To date, it remains the largest event that I have ever witnessed, leave alone organizing.